Hi everyone, this is John Garrett from hypertransitory.com and I want to do an Illustrator tutorial today on the transform each command and that's going to be a way for you to transform a bunch of elements uh, all to the same size at once and it's a little bit difficult to do um, or not difficult but kind of annoying if you have a bunch of elements that you need to transform at once so uh, I mean what I mean by that is let's say that I go here to my logo and I want to transform it well I can choose my move tool and I can you know shrink it or enlarge it to however I want um, and I can even use my transform palette down here or I can go up here to the control bar and I can you know type in whatever size I want it to be and that's going to happen depending on where my reference point is uh, you know from the center or from the the top left or wherever now um, what if I have a bunch of these though? If I have a bunch of these that I need to transform at once, it could turn into an ordeal. And I'm gonna move to another file here um, that uh, I have a bunch of logos set up in my next tab. And I move to that next tab by hitting the uh, command and the tilde key. And command shift tilde will move me back. On Windows, I'm sure it's control tilde, but uh, command tilde is gonna move me to my multiple logo file here. and. Um, so I've got these files, they're all the same size. If we look, we'll see, okay, these are three inches. They're all three inches. Um, and if I want to transform these all at once, well, you know, you can see that disappeared there. Um, well, if I go here, now I can't make them all like 2.75. You know, if I go 2.75 now, that whole thing is going to become 2.75, which is not what I want. So what I want to do is each one of these needs to be 2.75 instead of three so I could either go one by one and do those or I can use transform each to uh, do them all at the same time so I'm gonna hide my edges with command H move to a different tool so I don't have to see those uh, selection handles and I'm gonna move under object transform and transform each command okay so what this is gonna do each object that is selected is gonna be transformed by itself yet in conjunction with the rest of these from my reference point and we can see uh, I'm gonna transform these from the center so uh, let's just bring these down to 75 percent and if I hit my preview you'll see they're they're all reduced if I hit OK that's what I got um, so if I select this one okay now it's 2.25 but here's where the the flaw is in this feature how do I get those to be 2.75 each because if you look closely in the transform each uh, dialogue here I don't have I have percentage I don't have any other way to specifically in in uh, really with precision to resize these so it's an unfortunate you know lack of feature in this in this feature so what am I going to do? I mean, I can go to, uh, so there are three inches now. Let's say I go to my calculator. And, I mean, what do I have to do? I, I have, you know, 2.75. Let's divide it by three. All right, so this is what I got. It's 91, I guess, 91.6%, 0. 0.666. I'm going to put that in there. I don't think it goes to three digits, though. So let's try 1.666 and see what we get. 91.67. Let's try that and let's see what we get out of that. I'm going to click OK. And uh, all right, I'm at 2.75. But isn't that kind of an ordeal? I mean, why wouldn't they? Um, why not put, you know, a, a choice of units here or at the very least, you know, sometimes like in the transform palette, I can go in here and I can just type in whatever units I want. You know, if I typed in five centimeters, then that's what I'm going to get. But it'll just switch it you know within the inches but let's say I do go back to transform each I can't do that I'm stuck with percentage so I can't say 2.75 inch because it'll error on me invalid numeric value so they really kind of dropped the ball on that one uh, it's pretty unfortunate that they did that and let's say that uh, I'm gonna go to another file that I made let's say they're not all the same size what am I gonna do now I can't uh, I mean, if I go to transform each, yeah, they're going to be reduced by percentage, but they're still all the wrong size. They're not all the same size. 
you know, some of these are bigger, some are smaller. Uh, it doesn't help me that much, which uh, I don't know why they did this. And I'm using Illustrator CS4. In CS5, it's still a problem. I downloaded the demo and checked it out, checked out a few other features that I wish were in there, and they didn't do that. I don't understand why they kind of left this kind of as a half-assed feature. You know, possibly it can help you if, you're, if your elements are already the same size, then you're good to go. You can reduce it if you don't need too much precision. Otherwise, you can calculate it out, you know, using a calculator or math or however you want to write it out. But if in a situation like this, you need them all the same size, as far as I can tell, you're going to just need to do an action on it and make it, make it work as quick as you can. You might, you might not be able to do it in one fell swoop. So what I would do, uh, I'm going to drag my actions out here and uh, let's get rid of that. And let's drag out my uh, transform. You know, I'm low on room here because I've got this crappy monitor, but uh, hopefully that'll change in the future. So uh, what I've got here, I'm going to make an action. And okay, so now look, some of these, this one's three inches. You can see this one's 3.25. This one's 3.75. Uh, but I need them to all be 2.75. So I'm going to go here into my actions. I'm going to make a new action. Let's name it. Uh, I'll name it logo 2.75. And what I'm going to do is assign a function key to it. And I think I've got most of these used, but I'm going to choose F11. Thing is, my, my action function key is going to override whatever uh, keyboard shortcut I've got. So you just have to be remember. You have to remember that you, you set it. Because, um, you know, it could turn out later on that you'll hit that key and get an action instead of the other thing you're looking for. But now I'm going to hit record. So now every step I take from now on is going to be recorded. So what I'm going to do is grab this logo and I'm going to go ahead and type in 2.75. So now that's what that one is. I'm going to stop it right there and be aware if you've got this selected or not, your, your constraint uh, button there. Because uh, if, you, if you all of a sudden don't have that and you go back to run the action, then only the width is going to be changed and you'll end up with a, you know, out of proportion element but anyway so I've got this now recorded and it's on my uh, F11 key I mean right now I'm gonna hit the play button on that go back to my action hit the play button so now we can see that's 2.75 but from now on I'm gonna hit my F11 key and uh, you'll be able to see up here that they're they're all changing so I mean that's probably the quickest way you can do it unless you write a script or you you can find a script there's probably one out there that someone may have written in JavaScript or Apple Script. Uh, you know, if you check your scripts, you might be able to find something that might do that. But if you don't have time for that, you can always set up an action and do it that way. So, so that is uh, pretty much it on this this uh, transform each tutorial. You know, I wish I, I had a better answer for for Adobe's lack of uh, foresight on that on the percentage issue. But uh, maybe Corel Draw or something else does it better. But um, aside from that, uh, hopefully you can get something out of this and, and it might help you out in your projects. So uh, until next time, thanks for watching.